Hi, this is David with ACG. I'm here to do another video for you for how to remove your Meraki device. I'm going to go through this fairly slowly. Your This particular video is for an ISP modem over here that has only one internet connection. Now, you have an internet connection because your existing setup is connected this way. So we're going to go through with you how to remove this Meraki device and reconnect your phone and your thin client uh, up and get it working again by removing that uh, Cisco Meraki device. First thing I'd like for you to do is go through and shut down and power down your Dell thin client device. I'll talk to you about the power adapter for the audio codes phone in a minute. You may have a power adapter connected already, or you may not. You may be using power over Ethernet. That would be that network cable going from the phone to the Meraki device. If you have that set up, I'm going to need you to get your Audio Codes phone box and get the power adapter out of that box because we're going to need to connect that to the phone. So the first thing after we've got everything shut down, that we want to do is we want to go ahead and disconnect the power from the Meraki device. So simply we're going to remove that power cable from the Meraki device and then we're going to pull the power pack and the network cable that this came in. Now we're going to disconnect those two devices and you should still have the canvas bag that this power cable came in. So you're gonna to wanna to put coil this back up and put that back in that bag um, so that it can be shipped and returned back. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in that bag and uh, prepare that for shipping. This is the other part of that power pack in that. We want you to go ahead and coil those cables up nice and neat. And then we're going to wanna to put this back in the Meraki box along with the Meraki device. So while we're doing that, um, you'll notice that my internet connection has is a blue cable. The connection to my phone is a black cable, and I have a gray cable connecting my Dell Wise Thin Client. Now, mine's color coded. Yours may not be color coded in this manner. Just trace the cables back from their source so you know which one you're disconnecting and connecting again. So the first thing that we want to do is I'm going to take my blue cable from my ISP modem and I'm going to disconnect it from the internet port on my Meraki device. And I'm just going to set that down for just a moment. Next, I'm going to trace the, the black cable from my phone to the Meraki device and I'm going to disconnect that cable as well. Now, when I go to the phone, I'm going to have some different connections here. And in this different in this connection, I'm going to remove that black cable that the phone uh, was plugged into the Meraki device with. Now, what I'd like you to do is grab that internet connection, and I want to plug that in directly into the second port here. It's going to have a picture of uh, a couple of computers and one on top kind of looks like a triangle. We're going to make that connection, and when you do that, if you have your power adapter already plugged in on the phone, great. If you don't, get it out of the box and plug that in and plug it into the outlet. From there, we're now going to disconnect our uh, internet connection from our Dell Weiss Thin Client, and we're now going to connect that into the port that has the PC on it here next to the uh, internet connection. Now when we flip it over and we've got everything plugged in, now we will see that we've got lights, the phone's calling back home, and at that point once the phone's back up and operational again, you can then go ahead and power on your Dell Wise Thin Client. When that powers up, everything should work just as it did. Uh, if it doesn't, please contact 1-800-226-3300, that's the number to the help desk. Uh, or contact your supervisor for additional support. Thank you and have a great day.